Hey everyone, TechNoventure with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to free up storage on your iPhone, so let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do when it comes to free up storage is checking the storage itself. You can do this by going to your setting on your iPhone and then scroll down to general and there should be a section that says iPhone storage. You're gonna to wanna to click on that and take a look at the storage here. Right up top here is gonna give you an idea of how much storage your phone has, the capacity right here. I have 128 gig. I'm using about 29 gigs and I have 98 gigs available. Now, in order to free up some storage, there's generally a couple things you can do. First thing is you can delete some apps that are taking up data that you don't use. So as you can see here, I have some of my apps. Here's it's listed by size. If I want to delete apps that I don't use, I can go ahead and delete them. So let's go ahead and find the app. Maybe Acrobat, for example, I can click on it, delete it, and it will remove that much space and free it off for the phone, and that will be added back to the phone storage. That's one way to do it. Another thing you also want to do, if you see a storage takes up a lot of data, is delete it and reinstall it. For example, if I want to do that, right, let's go ahead and do it for Instagram, for example. I'll go ahead and delete it, which is or offload it, and then let's go ahead and offload it and then do the other method where it's removed and then we're gonna go ahead and delete it and then we're gonna reinstall it. Now you're gonna have clicked on the reinstall button or just go to the app store and then you're gonna search up the app you just deleted to get that storage back. Sometimes it's the cache that's stored and we wanna go ahead and reinstall it. And once we do that, your account, of course, like Instagram will still be there. It's just reinstalling the application itself. Now, other areas to free up more storage, it's gonna be your photos and videos. So what happens is videos generally take up a lot of storage. Right here, you should see a section that says review videos. I don't have it here because I don't have too much videos on this phone, but you can go to a photo library and go down a little bit further here under the media types and take a look at your videos. So the videos that are long, big videos they'll take up the more storage so you need to go ahead and find those long videos especially videos that you might have not need just go ahead and delete them uh, individually like longer ones that i don't need i can just go ahead and delete them and once you delete them click on that x here and then let's go back here we'll go to the grid to a summary oh basically you want to go back let's go ahead and out of here by swiping it you want to go to where it says utilities recently deleted right here and then you're going to select and then click on these three dots here and delete and delete from all devices now once i deleted that i should get some more storage available videos tend to take up the most storage and of course the next thing would be photos as well now along with that it's going to be another area you want to check out is going to your setting phone this time the main settings you're going to go to all the way down here it says apps and then you're going to search up your safari so if you use safari safari tends to take up a lot of the storage itself with a lot of cache data so what you can do is over time you can clean the history and the website data all time and then if you want to keep or close the tab just like that so i'll just go ahead and do that and that will clear at the data website that could also fill up your phone now, once you have done that, the last thing you want to do when it comes to freeing up storage is going back into your settings, iPhone storage, you're going to look for messages. So when you send messages and they send you videos and photos, they come as attachment. Those attachments will show up sometimes. They can take up a storage. So what you can do is delete the whole conversation, or if you want to keep the conversation, delete the attachment. You should see it up here, which attachment takes the longest, or you can open up the messages app, find an individual one and click on it, and then delete it from here as well. You can see it all, and then go ahead and select, right? You can delete like this. And go ahead, go through your conversation, especially if you have long conversation with someone, over time it fills up your storage itself. So you can delete this the attachment without deleting the conversation, you can simply delete the whole conversation. Finally, the last and final thing that you can do is actually, if you have your iPhone iCloud that you're using, you can use your iCloud to go ahead and store your photos and videos on the iCloud server instead of your phone. So you can click on where it says save to iCloud, you can go ahead and see all, and then click on iCloud. You're gonna basically sync it and optimize your iPhone storage. So that way it 
doesn't take up storage on the phone itself and it's on the iCloud itself. So those are gonna be ways to free up your iPhone storage. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.